Capricorn, hello and welcome to the Mother Tressa channel. If you're already familiar with this space, then welcome back. Come on into this room. But if you are new, welcome in. We are here to embrace you with nothing but love and acceptance. So feel free to come as you are, wherever you are energetically, be it positive, negative, or neutral. It really doesn't matter so long as you leave better than you came. Um, <laughs> if the message does happen to resonate, also like the video but subscribe before you leave and turn on the post notifications so you're made aware as soon as I upload a video. I want you guys to be hanging in the balance there, thinking that I never upload. All right, what do you guys have as far as the overlying energy? You have the Four of Cups, uh-oh. What's going on? What are, okay. Now, this is a, <laughs> let me not speak too soon, because every time that I do that, it just, it backfires. But the cruise that house, you guys, you have the Hierophant. What's real about the situation, you have the Seven of Wands. What's wrong about the situation, though, you have the Three of Swords. And this is why I had to bite my tongue. I knew it. It was too good to be true, Capricorn. Anything that seems too good to be true usually is, nine times out of ten. Always trust your gut instinct, okay? This card wants to be out. Where you need more information, you have the Seven of Pentacles, which was the outcome card for Sagittarius, so go check that reading out, please. And see how it's affecting the placement that you have within your own natal chart. Too many cards flipped over. I don't have that type of time. I'm still on 15 minute restrictions. But where you guys end up is King of Cups in reverse with the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so what I was saying in Sagittarius' reading, and I'm going to kind of piggyback a little bit just because that energy is still lingering, and you have the Centaur here, which is Sagittarian energy. Definitely go watch that reading, you guys. Um, was that there was a message coming in for somebody like a, a reconciliation of sorts if not just a face-to-face -face meeting so that everybody can put their problems out on the table and address all issues that may have been uh, pent up within or building up in the ways that a, an individual may have lashed out in the past but not necessarily because of what was going on in that immediate moment per se so much as again just any trauma that they've just been holding on to but with you guys what i wanted to say with the four of cups and the higher font is that um somebody's talking about potentially proposing here because the higher font is all about things that are more traditional and can speak about um exchanging of vows because you see how he's holding the scroll if it's not higher uh knowledge and learning and wisdom but um, somebody can be speaking amongst their family members and friends because the number four is cancer's house which they embody fully you know they're all about the home and things that make them feel safe and secure and bring comfort and nurture which is typically family so i feel like somebody's having talks about wanting to propose um, and or get married and I feel like with this seven of wands there's somebody within that circle of influence namely the person with the red dress that is envious of the fact that this person has decided to settle down with you and or vice versa because that was an opportunity that may that they may have wanted say that this is somebody that's had a crush on you and that's why I'm extending to friends because if that's family members first of all that's gross Okay, well, I don't want to say that that's gross, okay, that that's very biased and very rude, um, but I understand that there are some families that are into taboo things like that, such as incest, and so they don't mind it, but as far as this being a friend who has, like, a, a huge crush on you, you know what I'm saying, so they're trying to cock block or trying to advise against this is just highly competitive energy when it comes to matters of the heart and partnership and taking that committed step because they didn't have that opportunity they can lock you down and or um the person say that they're involved with a karmic individual that karmic couldn't lock them down and so they're extremely mad and are pissed off and trying to advise against again to dissuade um you from making this decision or vice versa um, this is a, a, an 
a challenge, an obstacle that has to be overcome. But I definitely get the sense that somebody's interfering with that desire. They can't believe that now all of a sudden you want to do right and you want to be committed because of the fact that they were not chosen. Because of the fact that they were not chosen, okay? Not everybody is anointed for marriage, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody can be the chosen one. So if this is all about spirituality as it, as it tends to pertain to cups, energy, and the Hierophant, then this is you being very easily distracted with what's going on in your external environment and deeming other things to be more important than your connection to spirit. And so this is like that warning message of like, hey, I need you to, you know, disconnect for a little bit and come back to center because I have some messages that I'm trying to give you. I'm trying to provide you with an impetus to heal a broken, bitter heart that you may have and any other pent up resentment that maybe Capricorn you guys have against these people that you have dated and these relationships failing in such a way that have caused you to become um, emotionally disconnected or closed off or unavailable, if you will. Okay, and that is why you guys act the way that you do or the reasons why you don't feel like you can so easily tap into the female aspects of who you are as in yin yang principles, we are comprised of each side. There is a little or a lot that that uh, we have within us as far as good and bad attributes and just the way that we channel them and the way that we can hone them in to refine them to then distribute them to acquire wealth right to capitalize on who we are right authentically and i know you guys care a lot about business as well that's why i'm trying to trickle that in as part of the message but in order to do that as you cannot create without tapping into your female side, then you have to learn how to be a little bit more transparent. So that's going to be the lessons for you guys. Being able to be or find comfort in things that feel uncomfortable naturally to you and challenging yourself that way in certain relationships, even if they don't lead to the altar here. It's just in these dynamics, you not trying to be so was that i'll just say immature for lack of a better word because in the what's wrong position you do have the three of swords which most heartbreak the leading cause of is due to miscommunication and or immaturity here so instead of trying to um always act so nonchalant and trying to act so aloof and, and, and being that guarded in that way to throw up the, that defense mechanism that you guys typically have so that you don't get hurt. It's just like you have nothing to lose instead in these interactions because you're just gaining knowledge at the end of the day with the Hierophant and the Seven of Pentacles as far as um, learning how each particular individual needs to be treated. And so when you're finally at that point where you maybe want to be more serious and committal, it's understanding, okay, like now I know through these different situations and also through my own research and learning and whatever you do as far as like reading or whatever classes you may take if you're still in school or just in your old age and, and having those conversations with family members and friends and how their dynamics have worked in relationships and partnerships and stuff like that and you just um, kind of picking their brain, if you will then you're understanding, okay, love languages exist. You're understanding, okay, women, if you date women, are just more emotional in nature. And so I need to learn how to be softer. You know, I need to learn how to be more sympathetic and compassionate and understanding. Why is it so easy also for me to, to uh, afford this more soft and sensitive side to my mother, but for some reason, I'm just void of being able to do it um, with somebody's daughter who will one day, maybe, hopefully, you know, be a mother. So why can't I do this to the person that I have interest in, but I so easily can afford it to my mother figure? Okay, and then trying to see what that dynamic has taught you or just looking at that relationship and potentially how toxic or combative or how competitive it may have been. Say you are a mama's boy, which comes through with water's energy for some reason. 
Um, but you have a really close relationship with your mother and then you find interest in these females but these relationships never work up work out and in your own root work and going back to the past and your childhood and your upbringing you realize that your mother felt threatened by this feminine energy coming in because to her it was like a you're looking for somebody to replace her type of energy and so if you had a toxic figure like that in your life and it doesn't have to be a mom just any other legal guardian that you may have had you're you're really assessing that relationship and um trying to figure out how that can be repaired so that you can see better success in the future right because you do have two sevens here this is also working miracles some of you guys might be dabbling into magic spiritual practices if you will again tapping back into that and working with herbs and working with different elements such as fire which came through in Sagittarius's reading I'm telling you guys go watch that because I don't feel like I can um, reverbage what was said so eloquently in my opinion in that video some of you guys are seeing breakthroughs in some of the creative work that you're doing but you're understanding that duality exists with this three of swords energy speaking to Gemini's house here you cannot create without that female aspect, but you also need the more dominant parts of you, that more male aspect that can be more organized, that 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 is more logical and or practical, analytical, if you will, okay, and assertive and knows how to negotiate. You need both. I feel like that is a lot of what you're learning. If this is in regards to the heart, though, then you're understanding that you have to be of a certain caliber or they vice versa had to get to a certain caliber in order to be on the same uh, playing field, right? The same level playing field to have a, a soulful union if that's what you're looking for or vice versa. And so if it hasn't been like that, then that is what the message is bringing as far as the conversation that you will have, whether you meet up with this person face to face with the seven of pentacles, I feel like that would be best just so that each person can, can gauge body language and, and listen to tone for better understanding. Because I feel like for a lot of you guys with this age that we've existed in and the technological advancements that we've made, it's been a lot easier to just have a lot of conversations via text. And so that is where a lot of miscommunication does happen also when you're trying to, to figure out what a person is truly saying. You, you, you can't really get the understanding you can't extract that out of a text message you, you you're just left to make assumptions understanding also that you have to let go of your childish ways where a lot of people may be trying to throw themselves on you or buy for your attention and that stroking your ego but that being a turn off to people that are more mature and understanding that like if you're trying to make somebody jealous that that's not going to work and trying to be manipulative in that way by making it seem like you have so many um contenders like, okay, you have all of these options, pick one, <laughs> pick one, unless you want to be a bachelor, but then you have to be honest with yourself about that, what it is that you're trying to call into your life to experience at this time, because with these sevens, miracles can happen, asking you shall receive with this hierophant energy, but just be very careful if you are already in the midst of friends and family, and you're trying to have those conversations as far as wanting to take a certain person to the next level with you in a committed relationship that you are uh, mindful of the fact that there may be somebody whose feelings are hurt that they're not chosen and so you're you're I don't want to say like tread lightly or you have to walk on eggshells with this person because you definitely have to draw the line and there has to be a clear boundary established that like hey I'm sorry though there may have been some sort of connection for some people it may have just been physical you know and again you need more like and you don't want to come across as like that means like you're not worthy no you deserve love i just don't feel like you're the one for me you're it for me but don't let that dampen your heart or turn you bitter you know the, me releasing you essentially is supposed to help you find your person that much faster okay so it's having those types of conversations with people also so that they know where they stand and they don't feel like um there's there's still that space for them to like make advances so yes that's what i see for you capricorns if this reading resonated give me a thumbs up share this with your friends and family subscribe if you haven't and book with me should you need to but if i don't hear from you then please 
take care of yourself and your soul until you hear from me again. Ciao.